actually yeah the inspiration was about my boots <laughs> i found these boots on terra melon and they are these incredible pants slash boots in this beautiful brown and the texture is so nice it's super comfortable actually you can spend the whole day in it walking around it feels like you are naked almost and also the color is so beautiful i was like okay i need to do a chocolate look a beautiful statement on my eyes how can i do this so i look for a beautiful navy jacket and brown eyeshadow so the blue clothes with a touch of brown is very important because i didn't want to look too brown like everywhere brown the first thing I'm going to do is to refresh my skin. So I had makeup in the morning, it's almost night time and I'm having a work dinner. So I don't want to do too much but I want to feel a little bit more fresh. So I'm going to have concealer under my eyes and not too close from my lashes. Uh, I want to keep the intensity there. More where I have shadow, more where I can feel a line of my dark circles. And then around my lips too to make sure that my complexion is very like bright and glowy. One other thing I'm going to do is applying the concealer on my eyelid to use it as a base. It's really going to help me applying my eyeshadow. Um, I'm not going to powder it. I'm going to keep actually the, the dewiness of the concealer to blend this eyeshadow really easily. With my finger I'm going to apply highlighter. I like this one because it's pink and to balance with the yellow tones of the brown I'm going to use on my eyes, I want to have a bit of pink to refresh my skin. So on the cheekbones, the inner corner of my eyes, the cupid's bow and a tiny bit on the chin. I use a really a little bit on the um, bridge of my nose, but my nose is pretty thin so I don't like to use too much. Just to bring a bit of glow, but as minimum as possible. Then for my lips, I'm going to pad this brown, this is a yellow brown with a little touch of orange lipstick and I pad because I want to like kind of like bring a color and a tone to my lips but not feeling the lipstick texture. What I love to do is using this uh, Charlotte Tilbury lipstick also as a blush and the color is this sort of like peach brown on my skin so it's a perfect harmony to go with the rest of my look. I don't want to wear too many colors, I want to focus on the navy tones and the brown of my look today. So on top of this, because it's night time and I love to play with texture on my skin, I'm going to have this beautiful jelly highlighter from Victoria Beckham and Estee Lauder. I'm basically applying this product everywhere I use highlighter. Uh, and for my eyebrows, just a bit of mascara to make them more intense and a little bit less wild. <laughs> Even if you have bangs, I told you before, um, eyebrows are still important because it's giving an intensity. I love to have these sort of like small details to push intensity without you understanding like where it's coming from. So now the brown, I found this brown and it is exactly what I had in mind, a beautiful caramel chocolate color uh, very velvety and very matte so when i'm using matte i start with a brush to make sure that the application is perfect and it's very smooth and i don't with the all of my finger i'm not going to ruin the effect or change the texture so i'm applying this color all over my eyelid and maybe go a little bit more in the eye tight corner than i usually do but i for sure i'm not going to go too up. I don't want this eyeshadow to be like a huge shape where it's from my lash line to my eyebrow for sure. I really want to focus more on my eyelid and the rest is very blended and very soft. But I like for this look to have it more intensity on the outside corner of my eyes. Usually I, I don't go as far, but for this, I really love the idea of having this beautiful color that slowly, slowly is gonna disappear into your skin. And the shape is definitely gonna open my eyes and make them even more almond. So as you can see again, I'm applying this beautiful brown all over my eyelid and with my finger, I kind of shape it out on this beautiful almond shape. I don't want to shape that is too strong. It's always about giving a shape without seeing the shape, if you know what I mean. And now with my finger, I'm going to grab more products and add it on the center of my eyelid because thanks to this, I'm going to have again this beautiful ombre with one color, basically going from an intense velvet chocolate to a color that is going to be almost part of my skin. 
And with my clean finger, you can always make sure it's very well blended and you don't have like a sharp line of this eyeshadow. So I was about to stop here, but something was missing in my eyes. I was like, what? It's missing this intensity, this spice to the eyes that I really love. So I added this black pencil into my lash line, focusing on giving the impression that I have lots, lots of lashes and making the outside corner of my eyes even stronger. So when I close my eyes, you see the brown eyeshadow, but you don't see really the black pencil. It's kind of a trick that's gonna give you all the spice and you know, this baba vu my love without looking like it's thanks to the makeup. And it was really a game changing for this look. So I strongly advise to finish it with this black pencil. So now mascara, so I'm going to have a lot on top and the bottom lashes, but especially on the bottom lashes today, because it's going to give this sort of like 70s dramatic eye look that I'm looking for. And um, that's it, you guys. One thing I love about playing with strong statement uh, for makeup is that you have to own this look. It has to be your look. The makeup is not like put on top of your face. Like the makeup is not owning you, you are owning it. I heard that Estee Lauder herself said that beauty is an attitude and I think this is exactly my philosophy how you own this makeup, how you're wearing it, and just like to enhance your personality and your attitude and your mood more than changing your features and bringing more of the aesthetic part of the makeup. So I hope you love this look and I'll see you next week. <laughs>